In January, it will be the first launch of a satellite using the Small Geo platform, Hispasat 36W1. Small Geo is a telecommunications platform accommodating a wide range of payloads and missions. Developed by OHB System from Germany, under ESA's Advanced Research in Telecommunication Systems program, ARTES, Small Geo is a public-private partnership between ESA, OHB, and the operator Hispasat. It will also be the first geostationary launch on a Soyuz from Kourou. Another event in the telecom area is the launch of EDRSC by the end of the year. EDRSC is also based on the Small Geo platform and will be the first dedicated satellite for EDRS, the European Data Relay System. Launched from the European Spaceport on an Ariane 5, it will be the second element of the Laser Relay Space Data Highway. An Ariane 5 will also be used to launch four more Galileo satellites in the second half of 2017. The addition of these satellites ensures the continued deployment of the constellation, which will then be comprised of 22 satellites. With initial services declared and its infrastructure constantly expanding, the Galileo program is nearing completion. For Earth observation and Europe's Copernicus program, 2017 will once again be an important year, with no less than three Sentinel satellite launches. In March, Sentinel-2B will be launched aboard a Vega from Kourou. Sentinel-2B carries a wide swathe high-definition multispectral imager. With Sentinel-2A already on orbit, both Sentinel-2 satellites will monitor land cover, vegetation and water pollution. Later in 2017, two more Sentinels will follow, Sentinel-5P and Sentinel-3B. The Sentinel-5 precursor mission is a satellite dedicated to monitoring our atmosphere at a high temporal and spectral resolution. It also offers increased cloud-free observation. Sentinel-3B is a multi-instrument mission to measure sea surface topography, sea and land surface temperature, and ocean and land color. Both Earth observation satellites will be launched on a ROCOT from Plzetsk in northern Russia. Aside from Copernicus, ESA is working on its Earth Explorers program. ADM Aeolus satellite is planned for launch from Kourou at the end of the year. ADM stands for Atmospheric Dynamics Mission and will provide global observation of wind profiles. With this mission, ESA hopes to further our knowledge of the Earth's atmosphere and weather systems. Demonstrating new laser technology, Aeolus is also seen as a pre-operational mission that can pave the way for new wind measurement satellites. In May, French ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet will land in Kazakhstan after a six-month stay in the International Space Station, ISS. Later in the same month, Italian ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli will return to the ISS for his third spaceflight and the 10th ESA long-duration mission. He is planned to come back mid-October. With two astronauts and 10 satellites, 2017 will be another busy year for ESA. <laughs>